Hello, friend. Today I'll be telling you a story that has been on the internet for a long time, and that's been shared many times by users of different social networks. It's not known when or where this happened, but this story has the most important message, something that everyone should hear. School is an unforgettable time of our lives. First love, best friends, and for some people, it's the opposite. It's a terrible daily nightmare that you don't want to remember. But let's start at the beginning. There was a guy named Pasha in our class, the most ordinary schoolboy. Some things he did better, some things worse. In general, he studied hard. His favorite subject was mathematics, which he was best at. Pasha was from a poor family. To support the family, his mother worked two jobs. In the morning, she worked at our school as a cleaner and in the afternoon as a cleaner in a store. Pasha had no father. Of course, Pasha couldn't show off new fashionable things or gadgets, but this didn't bother him at all. He wasn't embarrassed about his mother and sometimes even stayed after school to help her in cleaning the classrooms. At first, we were amused. We tried to make fun of him and some people openly mocked him. Of course, this wasn't pleasant for Pasha and he was very worried. But over time, the banter stopped. Maybe we just grew up or maybe we just got cold feet because Pasha stopped paying attention to it. He never made any friends, not even by his senior year. He talked to everyone, but he wasn't close friends with anyone. He was always on his own, but that wasn't all. Pasha also had other problems. Every school has a teacher who is affectionate and friendly to the children of wealthy parents, but rude and harsh to others. In our school, that was the biology teacher and our class teacher named Svetlana Vasilyevna. Now I understand how duplicitous she was. I've never had a problem with it. Probably because my father often agreed to help with classroom renovations, but Pasha's mother couldn't often afford to hand over money for repairs or to buy new curtains, so it was her son who became the target of the class teacher's criticisms. Almost every morning she called Pasha up to the blackboard. As soon as he wasn't well prepared, she would reprimand him, and we would all laugh. Two months before graduation, Pasha listened to more insults from Svetlana Vasilyevna. Yet again, I still remember the last sentence she used to finish her song, Angry Speech. Remember, Ilyan, the son of a cleaning lady will never become a CEO, just as the son of a CEO will never stoop to being a cleaner. Pasha didn't answer, but listened to this and pressed his lips together. I would probably have never have written this story, but recently, something happened that affected me a lot. I did and see Pasha after school. His classmates didn't know anything about him either because he didn't even communicate with any of us at school and now he didn't keep in touch with us. Sometimes he appeared on social networks but there was little information about him. It's been 20 years since we graduated and we wanted to have a reunion. It took a long time for us to decide on a date. Someone has children, someone has a job but we still managed to get together. We decided to meet at one of the restaurants in our city. I don't know why we shows it, but we also invited Svetlana Vasilyevna there because she was our class teacher. Half an hour into the evening, she started asking us what to do. This was interesting to everyone. Someone was a manager at a large company and was very proud of it. Someone worked in a taxi and someone didn't work at all. When it was Pasha's turn, she sarcastically asked what he was doing. I build houses, Svetlana Vasilyevna. Pasha simply replied, oh, a builder then. The teacher said affirmative, mm, something like that. Pasha replied with a smile. The fun continued. We remembered so many things from our days at school. Many people hadn't changed at all, and some have become a completely different people. But in the late afternoon, when everyone began to slowly leave, Pasha, the son of a former cleaner who wiped the floors himself, said that he would pay for the entire dinner personally, and the money we had chipped in would be returned to all of us. Many people, including me, began to say that it wasn't necessary because it would cost him too much. But then something happened that no one expected. This is my restaurant, he added. And I'd really like to treat you all. You're my classmates. Most of all, I remember Svetlana Vasilyevna's surprised face. After the dinner, 
Pasha offered to take her home in his car, a black business class Mercedes Benz, with a private driver was waiting for her at the entrance to the restaurant. She sat in the car with her mouth hanging open. A few days later, everyone was very intrigued with what they saw and started making inquiries. It turned out that Pasha has his own construction business and his mother hasn't worked for a long time. She lives in a beautiful house that her son had bought for her. I still can't get this meeting out of my head. As an ordinary manager of a large company, I often think that everything depends on us. It doesn't matter if your parents are rich or poor. What matters is who you want to be and what you do to achieve it. And what's even more important is to always remain compassionate. After all, Pasha has achieved such amazing results with his work, but he doesn't show it off to the whole world as many people do. But he still continues to work hard and be modest. Have you ever experienced a story like this in your life? Be sure to write about it in the comments. Well, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the story. See you soon!